Here we are again, uh, this is Steve in Sydney doing a lay gnosis take on dousing again and I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. This is a demonstration of detecting a line uh, on the carpet made by a couple of wooden peg markers. Here we are about to start by pacing from the back of the room, okay? We just hold these uh, rods up in the straightforward six gun position and I pace forward hoping to get a signal that I've met the boundary, the line on the carpet, okay? Um, if all goes well this should give me a slow signal. I'm just going to stand here now and we'll see what happens. Does anything happen at all? Well, there is a, a deviation outwards. It's very slow and weak. Can you see this? One rod's moving quicker than the other. But I'm not doing this at all. Just watch. Be patient. It's happening. Now that happened entirely by itself. So take note of that, people. You can duplicate this yourself with two coat hangers at home. I'm only waiting the extra time there so that you can get to see the full physical movement. In practice doing this, you do it by the feel in your hands and you can feel the tendency in them to start slowly start moving out. So there's no need to wait the full length of time. It's illustrated this way in the books as being out like that. Um, in my case, my personal case, it certainly is not a rapid process. Okay, it's a fairly slow, weak process, but uh, it's happening when I stand on the line on request, and it's con connected to my desires to do this. Okay, um, kind of fascinating, isn't it? So this time I'm now going to try the uh, the Coupe de Grace today, which is going to be finding the X position, the actual spot on the line that I want indicated. This is just a practice session advice from a book. Okay dousing rod kit or something, okay? And uh, I start in the six gun position again uh, with the dousing rods and I simply walk forward and we're going to see what happens. I don't know the outcome here but this is for the camera and what do we get here? I've stopped on the middle. Look what's happening. One rod's moving faster than the other as usual but look what happens. They're beginning to cross over. Okay, they're slowly crossing over. You just wait, be patient now, they're crossing over. I'm not doing this. They cross over, okay, of their own accord. You can check this at home with two coat hangers. Reset, okay? Check this at home with coat hangers. Trust yourself. You don't need a battery of scientists in white coats and clipboards to do this kind of thing. You practice with two coat hangers. Okay, so this is powerful medicine. Have a second intelligence within you which has got a will of its own and will cooperate if it feels like it. Um, which makes it so damn hard to test for uh, the old fashioned scientific method which we've used as a religion for the last couple of hundred years. Now I'm simply uh, going to ask for uh, the rods to indicate the position of the lamp. Now you can see them, see the lamp there on the uh, I haven't rehearsed this or anything, I have no idea whether it's going to work or not. So I'll just wait for a minute, be patient, and we'll see if the, uh, there's any kind of movement in the rods at all toward the lamp, which you can see on camera. Just waiting. It's going slowly. I don't think I could do this slowly myself, even if I wanted to fake it. But can you see the left copper rod moving? I'm, I don't think I could fake it that slowly. definitely happening. It's going in the direction of the lamp you can see bottom camera, bottom of the picture. Can you see it slowly moving? Um, this is simply so it can be videotaped. And uh, very happy to see this is a surprisingly successful test. There it is, it's swinging a bit faster now as it gets toward the uh, toward the lamp. The other one hasn't moved at all. Okay, there it is, pointing directly at the lamp for good measure, right at the lamp. So that's a surprise, isn't it? I'm uh, not much of a dowser, but this is only my second attempt at messing with uh, dowsing rods. So, uh, how's that? What do you think about that, huh? You can do this with coat hangers. Have a go. And being a completely uh, novice dowser, 
I'm going to just try another experiment here. There is a giant teddy bear behind me. I'm going to ask to point at the teddy bear. I don't know how it's going to do this. I have no idea. Let's just see what happens. Just wait for a minute. Be patient. And uh, see if there's any response at all. Um, and we'll have a look and see what happens. Does anything happen? Um, the left rod is moving a little bit anti-clockwise there. That's the, the yellow tip. Uh, except for my right shoulder there. It's very slowly moving around. I suspect this is because it would be near impossible to fake it. It's easy to fake a fast movement, but you can't fake a very, very slow movement. Tai Chi is much more difficult to do than rapid exercise, isn't it? So look at that. Still moving ever so slowly, almost like the second hand of a clock. That is difficult to fake. And I'm certainly not doing it. And it's gradually moving around and pointing as far as it can behind me. See how long it takes to do it. This is only my second day at dousing exercise. What's the, the rod going, growing longer on the camera as it swings around? It's going a little bit faster now. And the teddy bear is directly behind me. It's right there on camera, you can see that. And that's what the rod, which has now gone as far around as it can, I think, it's now pointing virtually directly at the teddy bear behind me. Now, it would be damn difficult to fake that with such an incredibly slow movement. Take a lot of practice. This is my second half hour lesson at dousing, okay? So that's definitely food for thought, isn't it? Sign of a second intelligence in each and every person. And that's what the dowsers say. They're absolutely adamant. Anyone can do this regardless of beliefs. Okay? It's innate in everyone, every human. So um, that's my first lesson. You just saw that publicly done for all the world to look at. I'm not really good at dowsing, obviously, but I suspect the intelligence helping out with moving the rods with this subtle chi force, this uh, uh, chi grid that pervades the earth and everybody, um, I suspect it was trying to show that it was so slow that it really couldn't be faked. Even if I wanted to, I don't think I could have done it that slowly. I don't have the patience. I'm a rapid speaker. You've heard me the way I talk. So um, anyway, that's my first lesson in uh, dowsing. I'll be doing a few more things out of the book. Now, the experts in the book, and they really are an international group of experts, the book's got about six or eight uh, contributors, they do point out that the long-term effect of all this is gnosis, but it can take decades. They truly say that. It's repeated and reiterated in numerous places throughout the book. Um, so it's a wonderful thing to play with, these dowsing rods. And of course, a pendulum works on a similar principle. It's a lightly... Uh, a light physical object on a string or a, a cork floating in water or something like that. And you can get similar nudging effects by this subtle force, this subtle energy field, in answer to your uh, questions. So it requires daily uh, sort of meditational attention to this, or perhaps, you know, what, weekly, something like that. Now, it's easy to keep asking questions, but you'll often find that you don't know what questions to ask. Um, you'll run out of ideas. Now, and taking many, many years, and you don't know where you're going in the right direction or not, it's a bit risky. So, um, can I put it to you that better than dowsing, or you can combine with dowsing, which is a wonderful novelty, I can't condemn it in any way, it's a wonderful, exciting novelty. Combine with your dowsing interest lay gnosis which gives you physical evidence in your own body with no equipment it actually happens in your hands in 20 minutes you get physical evidence there from a website truebluehealer.com um, by the end of the week you'll be getting some messaging dreams which are truly uh, gripping they interrupt any other dreams you've ever had and if you've been a lifelong non-dreamer you're likely to have your first dream next week after your first 20 minute visit to the website. 
uh, following that there'll be a lot more evidence, so much so that you really have to keep a, a diary and that's very much in your own interest to do that. And then four months after that you get a whole new raft of physical evidence signalling you again. This is all equipment free. No apparatus is required. You'll also be introduced to the fact that this great intelligence has a sense of humour, uh, a surprising sense of ethics and some unusual background themes that you may find quite surprising. Uh, but anyway, it's a wonderful discovery thing to combine dowsing with lay gnosis. At truebluehealer.com it's easy to do that. And uh, so for that reason, I will commend the website truebluehealer.com to you and the lay gnosis it feeds out over the internet now to 6789 countries. So I'll see you back at truebluehealer.com.